In this video, we're going to look at some substitution reactions for hydrocarbons. So what is a substitution reaction? Well, firstly, it can only occur with saturated hydrocarbons. And what a saturated hydrocarbon is, it's a hydrocarbon with only single bonds, like our alkanes. Now, additionally, what's going to happen in these substitution reactions is we're only going to have a switching of a couple of atoms at a time. So let's take a look at an example. So we're going to create equation substitution reaction between ethane and chlorine gas. So there is ethane. Let's add that to chlorine gas with an arrow. So what we're going to do here is we are going to take this chlorine and say that hydrogen, and we are going to substitute them. We're going to switch them around. There we go. And we're also left with a second product because we have the H and the Cl switching places, meaning we're actually getting some hydro... Uh, chloric acid here. Now we've got uh, probably several different outcomes. Like this is one particular outcome. I guess we name things. We got ethane, chlorine gas, and we name this one chloroethane um, and uh, hydrochloric acid. In terms of substitution, you can just arbitrarily pick the uh, the hydrogen that you're going to want to substitute off with the chlorine. I mean, it could have been any one of these other ones. I guess in any of these cases, we still would have ended up with a one chloroethane. Now let's look at a more complicated example here. So we, I want a series of equations this time that represent a uh, reaction between methane and four moles of chlorine gas. So when it says four moles, that means we're going to have actually four steps here. So here's our first step. So let's start with our methane and our chlorine gas. And again, you'll notice that we're only switching one chlorine out. Now when we go to our second line of this uh, series here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually rewrite this whole molecule. So that molecule has been taken and written there. And uh, so now again, it's like we're starting over. So we're again combining this chlorine gas. And you'll notice now this time we've got another chlorine substituted right on there. And then as we go to step three, we're gonna rewrite this molecule right there. And once again, add a chlorine. And this time we get a chlorine up top. And then to step four, we're gonna rewrite this molecule right here. And once again, add the chlorine. And now you'll notice that we've got chlorines around each of our carbon. So uh, in terms of a name, it would be a 1, 2, 3, 4 tetrachloromethane. So in the end here as well, we'll actually end up with four moles of this hydrochloric uh, acid as well. That would sort of all add up.